As we've seen this afternoon, the Prime Minister is standing by his Defence Minister, David Johnston, who's also expressed regret over the comments that he made last night that he wouldn't trust our shipbuilders, the ASC, to build a canoe. Joining me now is the Assistant Defence Minister, Stuart Robert. For more on this, thanks for your time. Pleasure. Would you trust ASC to build a canoe? Absolutely, we trust ASC. Uh, they're building three of our air warfare destroyer blocks, or putting them together, uh, with Williamtown and Forjack, two other shipyards that we'll have for 40 years. Some of the most advanced ships for air warfare defence in the world. So, is there a sentiment at all within the government that there's a problem with ASC? Well, the What's mini behind this comment? The Minister for Defence made it clear that he was frustrated at what he's been given from the previous government. Uh, two year delays, up to $600 million in slippages. I think you saw some of that frustration coming out in the Senate. Why is there, uh, as you understand it, this two-year delay and the cost overrun on the air warfare destroyers? There's a range of issues. It started with Block 109, which is one of the blocks that was being built uh, down in Williamtown. Uh, unfortunately, not enough ministerial oversight from the previous government, not enough, not enough work being done to ensure the program was, was running as it should. Is it really ministerial oversight or is there a problem at ASC? Well, there's a, a problem with uh, the previous Labor minister who took their eyes off the ball. And of course, they had 16 reshuffles, a revolving door of ministers. But what can a minister actually do to prevent a cost overrun like this? Lots. Keep your eye on the ball. Make sure it's running what properly. Does that mean, though? Bring it to account. Well, look at what Senator Johnson has done in the last 12 months. He's made sure that the program has been uh, looked at sharply. He's brought people in to review it. He's understood what the problems are. He's been very clear with the Australian people what and yet the delays he still have been. What he said last night. Well, there's a degree of frustration. He's apologised for that. Has he apologised? He's made it very clear that there was a rhetorical flourish. He, That's he, not apologising. He meant no harm. Uh, and of course. He apologised on radio this morning in Adelaide. I think he's expressed regret. Well, the wider question is, where is the Labor Party going with this? Uh, why is it Joel Fitzgibbon had eight weeks uh, to try and explain what he was doing before he was sacked as a Defence Minister? Senator Conroy, of course, said that General Campbell was a political cover-up. And what did Bill Shorten say to Senator Conroy? Nothing. Nothing at all. You have to look at Labor's motives here. Now, only some weeks ago, the general manager of ASC, Stuart Wiley, said that they could build 12 submarines in Adelaide for between 18 and $24 billion. Do you trust that? Well, I expect a CEO to back his company and back his people, uh, and it's great that the CEO of ASC is doing that. But do you believe him? Well, I haven't seen the numbers and the forecasts in which he's basing it. ASC... So you, don't, you, doubt, you doubt that? No. A ASC built the six Collins-class submarines. They've successfully remediated the sustainment problems left to us by the previous administration, and they're doing exceptionally well in the sustainment work now. So I'm highly confident in the work that's being done in that space. But he's the expert here, isn't he? If he's saying he can build these subs for less than $24 billion, dollars uh, do you not believe him or you do believe him? Well, keeping in mind the design hasn't been finalised, so I'm not too sure on which design he's costing it. Clearly he's making some assumptions as to what the design would be uh, and some costs that go with that. So I'm sure based on his assumptions he's probably in the ballpark. But there's six months left to go on this. We need to finalise exactly what the design of the submarine is going to be. There is a process. We should let it finish. So another six months wait before we know what the decision will be? Well, there was, when we came into government we made it very clear what the timeline would be for us to finish the analysis uh, and that timeline will complete in around about six months. Uh, we should be patient and not jump to conclusions. And finally, do you want to see David Johnston stay as Defence Minister? David's doing a cracker of a job. We worked together for years in opposition. Uh, now as his junior minister in government, we work very closely. Uh, we meet regularly. We ensure that the portfolio is well governed and well managed. And his list of achievements to date has been impressive. Uh, indexation of DFRDB, a free ADF family health care has been implemented. The new gap year uh, is beginning. Stability of defence budget. One and a half billion dollars more this year into defence than Labor had. I think it's an impressive record. So you want him to stay? Absolutely. Assistant Defence Minister Stuart Robert, thank you. Thanks, Dave.